Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning, and I'm recording this <coughs> because uh, I have a call in like an hour, and um, I have some stuff that I got to do before that. I was going to record it last night, but I got sleepy. Uh, anyway, we're going to talk about <coughs> how uh, unused indexes. Now, yeah, yesterday's post was about how unused indexes could mess up uh, the buffer pool, how they get going there when queries uh, read them to put writes on them, right, to modify them. So here we're going to talk about how that can change lock escalation. Now, the like, I'm not going to set up a weird workload to, like, say, hey, look at these indexes, they're so unused, blah, blah, blah. I don't want you to think about these as just being, like, extra indexes. I want you to think about these being unused indexes. So these are low-quality indexes. They're not, like, just extra. They're not just, like, hanging around. But not like there's, we had a certain number of indexes that you can't have more than that because that's just going to ruin your life. I just want you to think of it as a context. Like, like you ran SP Blitz index or something. You saw like unused indexes, or you saw like uh, indexes with a high write to read ratio against them, and you want to know like what problems they might cause. There are a bunch of them. Uh, we talked about the buffer pool yesterday uh, when we have to maintain these indexes when they're written to, and today we're going to look at how they affect lock escalation. Now, the update query that I'm going to run is over in this window. <coughs> uh, it updates uh, everyone's age, where the user reputation equals 191, and of course, I chose that number for a very specific reason. Now, let's make sure that we don't have any indexes going on here, and we don't, and I just want to show you really quickly that when we run this uh, with no index on the table, we update 1,500 rows, and when we look at the request mode, uh, we have locked exclusively some pages. Uh, we have only asked for an intent exclusive lock on the object. The thing is, without a helpful index to help us find user IDs with this reputation, let's boop that down a little bit, uh, without a uh, helpful index to help us find user IDs with this reputation, uh, this query just takes like excessive, well, this query will take like an object level lock pretty quickly. Right now, we run this query, we can get one, and if we get this run this query, we can't. This this query is effectively blocked because this person has a reputation of 191, which is a record that we're updating. So let's kill that and let's roll this back, and let's add a helpful index and look how locking changes. So that index is now in place. <coughs> we'll run our update, and now let's look at what we have locked. And now we only have intent exclusive locks on pages. We only have an intent exclusive lock on the object. And now we have exclusive locks on the key of an index. That that index is the that index we have the, the locks on is um, the one that we just created over here on the reputation column. So we would still be able to select this data, but we wouldn't be able to select this data because this data would still be locked. Cool. Now let's roll this back <coughs> and let's see at what point of adding indexes does SQL Server say, well, <coughs> I'm just going to lock the entire table. So we're going to add this index. And the, the, the point of all these indexes is that they all have the age column in them somewhere. So that means that we're going to have to modify them, right? If they didn't have the age column in them, we wouldn't have to touch them. But since these all have the age column in them and we're updating age, well, that's just a break. So we added that index. Let's go over here and look at this. Still 1,500 rows, and when we run this, now we just have more locks on more keys. Okay, we went up from 1,500 to 3,100 something, right? We effectively doubled the amount of locks. So now, we'll go back, and we'll add our next index. What will happen now? Where will this go? We'll do begin tran, update that, come back over here and look. No, now we just have more total locks over here. We still only have intent exclusive locks down here. We only have the exclusive, like, I'm going to mess with you locks up here. Fine. Roll this back. All right. Da -da. Now we're going to add a full one, two, three, fourth, fourth index to the table. And when that's in place, we'll go look and see what happens. We'll, we'll come run our update over here. Begin Tran, 1,556. What happens now? Well... 9,000 locks up here. That's, that's, that's getting up there, right? Everything you heard about lock escalation is weird. <laughs> All right, let's add another index to the mix. Let's go get this one on there. 
And it was funny when I was practicing writing this, the amount of times I forgot to roll this back before trying to create an index. It was, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> it was very unprofessional. And there was a lot of just terrible blocking involved. So let's go and run this now. And now we have, well, <coughs> still a 10, to, uh, but, 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 and now we just have 10,000, almost 11,000 key locks. Oof, boy, SQL Server, what are you up to? You're being quite devilish, quite devilish this morning. I was being quite devilish last night, too, if I do say so myself. That SQL Server. All right, so now we're going to go run this update again with a yet another index on the table, and we'll run this in 14,000 key locks. One exclusive lock. All right, only on key. Intent, intent. Funny, right? Funny stuff. All right, roll you back. Oh, messed everything up. Messed the whole thing up. Now let's add one more index. Let's see what we add, when we add this one to the pile, what happens? Begin train, run that, see what kind of locks we have. And finally, we have an exclusive lock on the object. So now we have a full table lock, which means that if we wanted to run this count query, we couldn't. This query is now blocked. So the bottom line on what I was trying to, what I'm trying to get to you, get, get across to you here is that <coughs> when you have a lot of indexes on a table, you typically increase uh, lock escalation when you need to modify data. Now, this is assuming that you know you have indexes on data that is frequently modified. Um, this can be very frequent for you know, of course, inserts, because inserts you know they just kind of write to wherever. Single row inserts probably not probably not as bad, but you know probably take quite a bit of that. Uh, but you know when you update data or when you delete data with a where clause, depending on how much data you're deleting, uh, you may say you may see lock escalation. Um, occur much faster than when you have more indexes on a table and you're taking more locks because the locks are like cumulative, right? So uh, you may see lock escalation happen faster when you have more indexes. Now, there's all sorts of ways to remedy this, right? There's all sorts of ways to get around like the terrible reader on writer locking that we were just looking at, you know, this optimistic isolation levels. Uh, there's of course the fabulous, wonderful no lock hint that I see everyone use so successfully and so happily. I'm kidding. It's, it's a miserable experience for everybody. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to go finish my, my, my coffee and um, I don't know, I'll probably be embarrassed by how incoherent I was on this later. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video, maybe? 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 I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Anyway, uh, I'm Eric with Eric Darling Data. I'm actually Eric Darling, too, so if that, if that counts. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video at another time. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll wear a cowboy hat in the video. It doesn't exactly look like a cowboy hat.